Aloha. This presentation aims to help the public and interested groups further understand the special management area and the special management area permit process. The special management area, or SMA, is the area which extends inland from and along the shoreline. The SMA begins at the shoreline and generally extends inland to the nearest highway. Other factors, such as salinity and tidal influences on bodies of surface water, may also affect an SMA boundary. The SMA is the most sensitive area of the coastal zone. The SMA is much smaller than the Coastal Zone Management, or CZM, area, which is defined as the entire state, from the top of mountains, seaward, to three nautical miles. Each of the counties in the state has designated its SMAs. The county may amend its SMA boundaries as necessary. In the case of a contraction or reduction of the SMA boundaries, the contraction is subject to the State Office of Planning's review and determination. Existing governmental agencies comprise the Hawaii CZM network. The spatial perspective diagram shown illustrates that under the CZM Statute, Hawaii Revised Statutes Chapter 205A, all state and county agencies are required to enforce CZM objectives and policies. The shoreline acts as the jurisdictional boundary between the state-managed conservation district and the respective county-managed land use district. The shoreline area includes all of the land area between the shoreline and the shoreline setback line shown in red. Within the shoreline area, the shoreline setback prohibits structures or activities that may adversely affect beach processes, public access to and along the shoreline, or shoreline open space. The establishment of shoreline setbacks provides a buffer zone to reduce the risk of coastal hazards. The shoreline setback variance is not a permit but an exception to the shoreline setbacks and may allow structures or activities within the shoreline area. The SMA permit is the first permit required when multiple permits are required for a development. No agency is authorized to issue other permits pertaining to any development within the SMA unless approval of the SMA permit is first issued. No development shall be allowed in any county within the SMA without obtaining an SMA permit, and the SMA permit as the first permit does not preclude concurrent processing of other permits. The public sometimes uses the SMA permit process to raise their land use policy concerns. However, the SMA permitting system does not establish land use policies and does not determine land uses. The SMA permit regulates permissible land uses that are already allowed by land use policies including zoning designations, development plans, and county general plans. When there is a lack of mitigation measures for a project, or mitigation measures cannot achieve consistency with the CZM objectives and policies of the SMA guidelines, an SMA permit will be denied and the proposed action within the SMA will not be permitted. The SMA permit is not a land use determinant. By state statutes and county charters, land use policy making in Hawaii is reserved for three entities as follows. One, the State Land Use Commission establishes policies by placing all lands of the state into four land use districts, urban, conservation, agricultural, and rural. Two, the Board of Land and Natural Resources designates conservation subzones within the conservation district, each of which has allowable uses that commensurate with its designation. 3. County Councils establish the specific or detailed land use policies in the County General Plans and County Development Plans. Development means any of the uses, activities, or operations on land or in or underwater within the SMA. 
A proposed action within an SMA shall be subject to assessment and determination made by the respective county planning department. Specifically defined uses and activities within the SMA are not included as development and may be exempt from the SMA permit. Any excluded use, activity, or operation which may have a cumulative impact or a significant environmental or ecological effect should be defined as development, as set forth in Hawaii Revised Statutes, Section 205A-22. The key factor in determining whether an SMA major permit or SMA minor permit is required for a proposed development within the SMA is its adverse environmental or ecological effect, taking into account potential cumulative effects. Enacted by Act 153, Session Laws of Hawaii 2011, the cost threshold between an SMA major and SMA minor permit is $500,000. When a proposed development has a substantial adverse environmental or ecological effect or its construction valuation is more than $500,000, an SMA major permit will be required. The diagram shown of the SMA permitting procedure shows the process in the review of SMA permits. This process can be summarized as follows. The county planning departments are charged with assessing SMA permit applications. The county planning department directors make their determinations on SMA exemptions and SMA minor permits. They provide recommendations on SMA major permits to the county authorities, which are the respective county planning commissions, or the city council for the city and county of Honolulu. Final decision-making power in SMA major permit decisions is vested in the respective county authorities. A public hearing is required for an SMA major permit. CZM objectives and supporting policies provide overarching guidance to the counties in their administration of the SMA permitting system. These 10 CZM objectives include recreational resources, historic resources, scenic and open space resources, coastal ecosystems, economic uses, coastal hazards, managing development, public participation, beach protection, and marine resources. SMA guidelines articulated in Hawaii Revised Statutes Section 205A-26 apply specifically to the SMA permit process. The SMA permit should ensure adequate access, by dedication or other means, to publicly owned or used beaches and recreation areas and natural reserves. Alterations to existing landforms from a proposed development shall be mitigated to minimize the adverse effects on water resources and scenic and recreational amenities. Reduction of threats from coastal hazards from erosion, storm waves, flooding, hurricanes, tsunami, and subsidence of the land must be taken into account in the SMA permit. The SMA permit must ensure that historic and archaeological resources are protected and preserved from any proposed development within the SMA. Pursuant to the SMA guidelines, all development in the SMA shall be subject to reasonable terms and conditions. The respective counties should ensure that an essential nexus and rough proportionality between the SMA permit conditions and the CZM laws provisions. Non-CZM issues associated with development shall be addressed by other county regulatory mechanisms. The Hawaii Intermediate Court of Appeals, or ICA, decision in Kauai Springs v. Planning Commission of the County of Kauai, dated April 30, 2013, requires decision makers to specifically consider the applicant's use of public trust resources pursuant to Article 11, Section 1 of the Hawaii Constitution. Where public trust resources are used for economic gain, the ICA 
requires the county authorities to give the application for SMA use and shoreline setback variance a higher level of scrutiny and places a higher burden on the applicant to justify the use of the public trust resources. Under the provision of Hawaii Cesium law, applicable SMA permit conditions may include, but are not limited to, provision and maintenance of public beach access, preservation of archaeological sites, protection of life and property from coastal hazards, boundary setbacks and building height restrictions to preserve coastal views, drainage improvements to control siltation in coastal waters, prohibition of artificial lighting on the shoreline and ocean waters. Specific measures are necessary to enforce the SMA permit conditions, such as periodic status reports from applicants as an ongoing condition, time limits to the granted SMA permit with additional approval required for time extension, additional review and approval for modifications to the original proposal or plans, cross-review of other permit or approval applications under the county planning departments, responses to complaints by the public or by affected parties, site visits and inspections, civil fines and or revocation of the SMA permit for failure to comply with the SMA use requirements. Pursuant to the Hawaii CZM law, a civil fine for SMA use or a shoreline setback violation can be up to $100,000 and a civil fine of up to $10,000 for each day in which such violation persists. If you have questions about the SMA permit, please visit the Hawaii CZM program website at http colon double slash planning dot hawaii dot gov slash CZM or call us at 808-587-2846. Mahalo.